recommend you use a pipe cutter. It is important to ensure that the pipe is cut completely square. Two bends should be clean and free from scratches, not less than the socket length. Make sure that the internal and external tube ends are free from burrs or sharp edges by using a deburring tool. Then, wipe the tube end clean to avoid damaging the o-ring on tube insertion. Before inserting the copper tube, ensure that the o-ring is seated correctly, free from damage and lubricated. If not lubricated, a small amount of water can be used to provide lubrication. The tube must be fully inserted into the fitting until it reaches the tube stop in order to make a perfect joint. Marking insertion depth will ensure that any tube movement is detected, which is especially important if the joints are to be pressed at a later time. To ensure the joint, the tube must be inserted into the fitting up to the tube stop. The pressing operation should only be undertaken when the tube reaches the tube stop. Ensure that the correct size jaw for the fitting is inserted into the tool. The jaws must be placed square on the fitting. Depress the trigger or button to begin the compression cycle of the tool. This is complete when the mouth of the fitting is fully enclosed by the jaws. Now, release the jaws from around the fitting. It is important to keep the fitting free of any dust or dirt and to ensure the o-ring stays lubricated and protected from damage. Select the correct size of tube and fitting for the job. Ensure that both are clean and free from damage and imperfections. Still have questions? Please give us a call at 1-800-AY-CARES. Stay connected with AY's news and updates by connecting with us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter.